everyone, this is Walter Adams and welcome to part three of your uh, calculator lessons. Uh, here we're going to discuss annuities. Uh, up until this point, we have been ignoring this uh, payment key, but we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to take a look at what happens when we have a, an even stream of payments uh, and how we find the present value uh, of these annuities. Let's say that we have an opportunity to receive $100 each year over the next three years at 5% interest. What would we pay for that today? What would be the present value of that stream? So in this case, we do not have one single future value number as we did in the last part. So we're going to go down and we're going to take zero. And we're going to enter zero for our future value because we do not have one single value for the future. What we do have are future payments that we're going to receive. So we're going to receive 100. And, and since we're going to receive them um, uh, in positive terms, we're going to put in a positive 100 for our payment. So 100 goes into our PMT. This is at 5% interest, so we're going to take 5. And we're going to come up and enter it into our interest. These payments are going to be received uh, each year for 3 years, so we're going to take 3. And we're going to put that into our N, just like we've been doing. We've got the, the uh, information now in our, uh, in our top keys. And again, all we have to do now is hit the present value button and we see that we would pay $272.32. Now notice that this is a negative number, as we mentioned in the last series, meaning that the calculator always assumes that there are positive monies and that there are negative monies. And in this case, uh, we would uh, find it worth, uh, it, uh, worth our while. It would be a value to us of $272.32 uh, to pay for that stream of money. Okay, well that's a present value of, a, of an ordinary annuity as we mentioned in the earlier calculator series where we receive interest at the, uh, at, as we normally do, at the end of the pay period. But let's clear that data out. Let's hit our goal button, clear all. And let's do it again as an annuity due uh, where we receive interest at the beginning of the period. Very uh, simply, all we have to do is hit our goal button come up to that beginning and an end that I mentioned to you in a previous uh, episode. I hit the uh, beginning end and you now see that I have the word begin uh, in my screen, meaning I'm in begin mode. So I do the exact same calculation. I have zero for my future value. I have 100 for my uh, payment. I still have 5% for my interest. And we're still doing this for three years, so I have three for my N. And I hit the present value button, and I see that it's worth $285.94, which is higher than the present value we calculated before, because in an annuity due, we're receiving interest at the beginning of the period instead of having to wait until the end of the period. So it's worth more to us. That's uh, a basic annuity, ordinary annuity, and annuity due. Let's clear that data out by hitting our goal button, uh, clear all. Let's work a couple of other problems. Let's find out how we find a payment. Let's say, for example, that I want to uh, accumulate $10,000, $10,000 in the future. So I want to accumulate, in this case, there's a number I'm looking for in the future. So I have $10,000 and I hit my FV. And I know that I can receive 6% a year as a rate of return. So I have 6, I have my interest per year. And I'm going to do this for 5 years. I need this $10,000 in 5 years. So 5 is my N right here. So I've got my data uh, loaded up. Now the question is, what would the payment need to be in order to, uh, in order to achieve 
the accumulation of ten thousand um, uh, dollars five years from now I hit the payment key and I see that it's one thousand seven hundred and seventy three dollars and ninety six cents that's all there is to it that's the payment I would need to make each year for five years at uh, at five percent or I'm sorry at six percent interest to accumulate ten thousand dollars let's clear our data with our gold button clear all let's try one other thing let's say that we still are looking to accumulate uh, the ten thousand dollars in the future so I hit ten thousand with my future value again and let's say that this time uh, my payment is fixed I can't afford seventeen hundred dollars uh, a year but I can afford twelve hundred dollars a year I know that that's what I can afford that's what I'm going to pay each year so I take twelve hundred and I come up here and I change my sign since this is what I'm paying out to a negative so now I have a negative twelve hundred that I put over here into my payment and let's say then that we're starting with uh, uh, no money uh, so my, zero is my present value since we're starting with nothing but we're going to make twelve hundred dollar a year payments and uh, I know that I'm going to do this for five years five into my n. now the question is what rate of return would I need to earn to take twelve hundred dollars a year for five years and turn that into ten thousand dollars at the end of five years so I've got my data in, I click my interest button, and I see that I would have to earn 25.78% in order to accomplish that. So there you have it. There you have just some of the basics of an ordinary annuity, how to do an, uh, an annuity due, and how to find what payment you would need to accumulate a certain amount of money or what, uh, what interest rate you would need to earn if you... Uh, only had a certain amount of money to put in each year as a payment but that's how we deal with annuities uh, it's uh, quite simple uh, like the rest of the problems we've been doing we put the data into our keys up here and we essentially press the button of the of the variable that we're looking for so I hope that was helpful for you uh, and uh, I look forward then to uh, working with you in the next uh, the next episode we're going to work uh, with uneven cash flows. It's going to get real interesting then. We're going to use some different keys on our calculator. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.